What's going on guys? Car of you guys here. My name is AJ and we are back with the 2023 Kia EV6 GT. Not to be confused with the GT line, the GT. The full review link is down below if you guys want to see that. This is going to be a shorter video, five things to love and five things to improve. Let's go ahead and start with a cinematic and then let's jump right in to the five things to improve. Number one on five things to improve has to do with the calipers right here. You're gonna notice they are like a lime green color. And while I like them, the only thing that's a little bit awkward is there's nothing on the face. Like even if it would just say like GT or something on the face of the caliper right there, I think that would look amazing. Again, it's little, it's, you know, just little things that they could do to improve the vehicle. And that was number one on the list. Number two on the five things to improve is the keyless entry. You will notice the little dimple right there. You can do it from the front door, but you cannot do it from the rear doors. So it would be nice if they could add it as optional or even potentially standard. So that way you can unlock your vehicle from any door. Again, this is just nitpicking, not a big deal, but it's something and uh, I don't think it'd take too much to allow that to happen, but I think it would be super useful. Number three on the list, stepping into the inside, as you guys can see, would be the interior. You're gonna notice you've got like a, I guess it's like lime green really is what it is for the piping on the seats you're gonna see it uh, up and down there and it looks really nice I love the look of the interior great quality good feel I just wish the improvement lies in more color options so you can get other colors but not on the GT now if they would just allow those other options up on the GT trim, I think it would make people really happy. I get it, they're trying to make the interior just GT only, and that's fine, you can do a certain design GT only, but having different color options would be huge because this is a black interior, as you can predominantly see. And that brings me to number four on the list. There's no cooled slash ventilated seats on the GT, which is the most expensive, and that's because it is so fast, uh, especially with their black. When they're black and not even a lighter color, like it just, when it's hot, like here in Arizona, your back just gets sweaty and it is what it is. You can't do it unless you go down to the GT line and then you can get the ventilated slash cooled seats. So I wish that was certainly an option uh, on the GT. Number five on the list is, again, with the seats. Uh, you're gonna notice over here on the left, nowhere for memory seating. And that is because the seats are bucket manual seats. You pull the bar, slide back. So maybe it's for weight savings, I understand that. But I would love to see an option for power and memory seating because like me honestly in my scenario i would take this car with those options if i lost 0.1 second or whatever zero to 60 that's fine and if i pay more for those options 100 good with that i just i want all of the stuff in the things 
with the speed. But maybe we'll see it on the next year model. Maybe that's why they held out, I don't know. Um, and are they huge things? Are they a huge deal? Not really, but they are definitely convenient, especially memory seating. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the five things to love about this GT and all of its speed. Unsurprisingly, number one on the list is the acceleration. And if you guys wanna see my raw reaction and just how quick this thing is, go watch the full review. Honestly, you, you guys will really like that because for those of you that don't know, I own an Acura NSX, a 2017. I've been in many other vehicles, twin turbo, Lamborghini Huracans, I, 720S, McLaren. By any definition, this car is fast. There, there's no other way to put that, okay? That's just the facts. 576 horsepower, zero to 60, in around 3.4. You can get like a 3.3, 3.2, just depending on conditions and all the stuff. Long story short, that's crazy impressive. Remember, this car's around $62,000. That is impressive, brand new, brand new. That's impressive. Number two on this list is the charging time. While it doesn't have the longest range, the charge time is, from my understanding, leading the industry. On a fast charger, DC fast charger, you can get this thing to around 10, to 80 percent in 18 minutes now for some of you that are watching this and you're all well i could fill a gas tank or my gas tank in you know two seconds i know that i understand that we're talking about ev capabilities okay so especially if someone wants to have this car and they're able to get to and from within the range of around 205 miles every day like work they're good, it doesn't matter. Now, if you're gonna be road tripping all the time, is an EV probably for you yet? Not yet, but the infrastructure will come over time, and you guys know, I've said this before, you know I'm not the biggest advocate on EV, but I give credit where credit is due, and this car deserves it. It, it genuinely deserves the credit. Number three on the list is the screens. They are very responsive, they are clean, it just, they just look nice. Um, it just looks like one solid piece all the way across and they work really well. Um, so definitely wanna give Kia all the credit for that and just really bringing this thing looking modern, which is really nice to have. Number four on the list is the lane centering. Lane centering in this vehicle is so good. Even my 2018 Kia Stinger GT2 that I personally owned, the lane centering was really good, especially in 2018. I drove so many other vehicles in 2018 and eh, they weren't great. But the Stinger Kia, oh man. I mean, even around just pretty sharp turns, I mean, it would stay dead center of the lane without touching the wheel. Now, that doesn't mean don't touch the wheel when driving, please. For the love of everything, pay attention, have your hand near the wheel. But why I like this is it's a safety feature, not only for you, but also for everyone around you. Because if I go to get a drink of water, you have to get the cap off, right? I've said this in many other videos for this feature. Being able to ensure that you're gonna stay in the lane just for those few seconds while you're unscrewing your bottle cap is nice to have. And, some of them don't work that great, and Kia does such an amazing job with their lane centering technology. Number five on the five things to love is the park assist. Now, for those of you that don't know what this is, it's right here on the key fob. Hopefully you guys can see it. The lighting is brutal right now here, right there. You can see it up and down, and then you've got all these other buttons, but long story short. So if you press the lock button, lock it, now, if you hold the remote start, you're gonna see it do its thing here. Okay, and now it is started. You saw the three chimes right there. Now, let's say you're in a really tight spot, right? 
you're in a really tight spot and you don't want to get a door ding, whatever, and you just need to pull it out, okay? So if you stand near the vehicle and you press for, in this case, the up, because we want to pull it forward, you just hold it. Just keep holding it. The electric parking brake comes off, hopefully you heard that, and there it goes. So now, I've arrived at my door. Let go, and it will stop immediately, okay? Now, if you need it back in the spot, right? Like, let's say you can't get into a tight parking spot, okay? Now, you just hold, keep holding it, keep holding it, keep holding it, back into the parking spot, it will go. What an absolutely cool, cool feature. And it is more useful than what you may think. Uh, I'm so impressed. I am so impressed with this vehicle. I cannot express that enough. I really have enjoyed my week with this EV6 GT. And between just all of the EVs I've been getting lately, I can see why many of people, aside from trying to save the planet, um, I just, I understand the speed side of it. I understand the torque. I understand how quiet they are. There are pros to EVs. While there are still cons, there's many a pros. And uh, this is no exception. This is an amazing piece of machinery from Kia. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, please subscribe, and as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.